place opened up in 1974 with an amazing staff of people and they basically did then just what we do now. They turned to the teenagers and said, what should we be? What should we run? What should we make here? Teenagers got involved, responded. It's been running the same ever since. The history is that this is a student-run teen center run along with the staff that's been running nonstop since 1974. Bunch of things. I mean, I'm the administrator. I do all the boring paperwork and the timesheets and the budget. Level staff member is working with teenagers. Everything from talking to them, playing games with them, developing events. Like tonight, we're going to make our own soda. We're going to actually use ginger root and cooking down simple syrup with sugar and lemons and, and combine it with, with seltzer and actually rock concerts or plays or art events or creative events like this. So my job is to work with teenagers, try to do cool stuff, build relationships, give them a place they want to come. It's like a second home to me sometimes. Um, what do you call it? A lot of the time when I, you know, I'll have some sort of frustration and I'll come here and everything's just kind of chill. And I can also, you know, do a lot of the things I like. It's where I met a lot of my friends and it's, it's very important to me. Uh, I started coming to Levels probably when I was in, uh, I used to sneak in from time to time because my brother used to come here all the time. And I always wanted to come because I thought it was kind of a cool place to hang out. And my brother was involved in a lot of the theatrical productions. So I started coming when I was in sixth grade, even though I wasn't really supposed to be here yet. And then uh, I came all the way into, into high school. I don't know if I have a favorite activity at Levels. Um, Levels for me was always a place to connect, a place to find, uh, to find other people like myself. And, uh, and a place to kind of, I don't know. Okay, better question. What do you remember most about Levels? I remember coming here, I remember coming here during a lot of my, uh, weaker moments and having Ethan kind of help me out and talk me through a lot of uh, a lot of the kind of problems you experience in your youth and probably spin the bottle over there <laughs> <laughs> uh. no I, I mean there were a lot of memorable moments it's hard to just narrow it to one but uh, there was definitely some tomfoolery that went on and those are of course standout moments but uh you know, I had a great time going to all the shows and filming the shows. Some of my first experiences handling cameras were here, so... Levels has obviously played a very significant part in my life. Uh, yeah, well, I mean, like I just said, um, some of the first times I held a camera and, uh, and shot video were at Levels. Um, I had done some work with my cousin, and I had an interest of my own, but... You know, the first time I, I was on a shoot really was was here when I was assisting Mike with LTV stuff, and uh, and now I work. I have my own video production company, and I and I work in film. So it's uh, you could see the progression, I guess. Grade to junior year, four five years. It seems like longer. I think, I think my first year, they did a haunted house where they killed. They like they had a paper mache cow. And uh, we killed it because we wanted to make it undead. And I think that was my first year as Haunted House. It might have been like, it might have been earlier than that. It might have been like. All right, next question. Just, You're uh, too boring. But funny. You're too boring. It, All right. It was a long time. It's been a long time. What you do a daily basis at levels and what you normally do otherwise. I mean, I would go in, I'd play video games with the guys, I'd hang out, play guitar, uh, work on some music, play some computer games, Warcraft. Uh, Halo, but like on occasions when the show's going on, I would go in, I would do camera work for the shows, I do lighting for the shows, I directed a production of Little Shop of Horrors. It was, uh, on a daily basis, I'd come in after school, wait for them to open, come in, hang out for a couple of hours, order some food, and leave. And your per on your personal basis, how did Levels help you to become better than you were when you first went in? I mean, it kind of gave me a group of friends. 
I was going through kind of a rough patch in school and not have that many people to hang out with and it really um, it, it, it gave me people to hang out with and to talk to and to get to know and just like people that were a lot more like me. Um, well, there's a couple of different things. Um, as assistant director, um, basically I help run the place. Um, we help, uh, you know, create policy for the place, uh, counsel people. Um, some of the specifics of what I do as assistant director is I'm in charge of the publicity end of it, um, which includes like the website and flyers and things like that and that sort of thing. Um, and uh, I'm also the theater program coordinator. As theater program coordinator, I train kids in um, creating the three or more theater productions that we do a year. Um, and the kids direct, they design, they produce, they perform. Um, in the best of circumstances, they do everything, um, you know, with the professionals here for guidance. But um, I mean, every staff member at Levels uh, not only is focused on a specific discipline, and so mine is teaching dance and choreography and uh, also fight choreography and just general movement-based stuff for um, either the film project, fight choreography, and just general movement-based stuff for um, either the film projects that we do, for dance projects that we do, or also with the theater program. Um, but I, like all of the staff members, do a number of other things. So I also teach a cooking workshop. I also do sort of, you know, the standard day-to-day -day, um, working with teens on whatever projects they want to do. Um, and that involves anything from creating art projects to cooking something to playing a game to playing a board game to, you know, mentoring, that sort of stuff. And so my job really sort of runs the gamut of either really discipline-based things to, um, to sort of the day-to-day -day hanging out stuff that we do here at Levels. Music coordinator at Levels. I am in charge of anything music related, whether it be recording, uh, teaching the music for the musicals, uh, whether it be vocal or orchestral. Um, I also run workshops like sight singing or bluegrass band, um, and anytime we have a rock concert. any audio needed for a performance, I'm in charge of making that uh, work. Yeah, I will play this instrument that uh, I built with a couple kids here. The whole thing. Oh, they got behind the rest Yeah. What's that? <coughs> Uh, at the station last night, I got a holler from Hot and Crusty. I think that's the worst name. Oh. No, you guys are the circle. Did you get an argument? What? Did you get an argument? Why do you guys keep Benny with him? Nice, Chris. <laughs> that's gonna break, Joe. Uh, Alright, Chris, you wanna explain what you're trying to do right now? Oh, uh, no. You don't. Oh. I'm not allowing you to film me. You do not have my consent to film me. Well, I'm filming all of levels. Oh, do you want to make a slide guitar or a friend guitar? <laughs> <laughs> if you can't find anything, we'll just build a little box. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so how, what can we do to make it? Wait, I got my Okay. Do we have any that are like smaller in diameter? I have more idea. Cut this in half. That's it. That's just going to change the note to a different note that it can't change. And from. then. Well, the thing is, if we have a smaller tube that we can stick inside, then I can have a string that like lets me make it longer. Yeah, exactly. Let me see if we have another PVC. Or. Dad, stop following me. It's um, made of garbage. And um, play with a wrench.
uh, the wonderful jump guitar. Here at Levels right now, I am the uh, video coordinator, the audiovisual coordinator, uh, which in, what I do here is I teach video production and uh, uh, I run a couple of workshops in uh, documentary and, and one of the things that I'm in charge of also is to uh, record uh, various concerts and uh, uh, shows, plays, and that kind of thing.